Welcome to your espresso workouts. We're doing two rounds of plank and core work. And this is your warm up. We're starting with walkouts to plank. Stand with your feet hip width apart. Start with connecting to your breath. Keep a steady breathing rhythm. Then bend forward from your hips. Get your hands down on the ground. Brace your abs and walk forward into plank pose. Then walk or crawl backwards without shifting your hips left and right, just pushing them back. You can either push back into a down dog or inverse V position, or you just crawl backwards and then either round your back rolling upwards, vertebrae by vertebrae, or you flip up, keeping a straight back. Once you're standing, raise your arms overhead. We're warming up the whole body and our core. And this is especially designed to work our abdominals in length in order to reduce pressure on the intervertebral discs. Still warming up. This time warming up our spine in lunge back rotation. Stand upright and then lunge back with one leg. Rotate towards the bent knee and then come back parallel and stand up. Start by standing tall, keep your feet hip width apart, then step back into a deep lunge. Put your inner hand down on the floor and rotate your whole upper body towards that bent knee. Come back parallel and step forward to standing. Repeat on the other side. Now exhale when you step back, rotate in the exhale, inhale, come back parallel and step forward. If this breathing is too slow for you, then simply keep a steady breathing rhythm and make sure to just exhale in that rotation. When you're in deep lunge, check your knee is on top of your ankle and not before your ankle. Your hips stay parallel to the floor and your back heel is pointing towards the sky. Make sure to include your head in your rotation, warming up your entire spine all the way up into your cervicals. Lunge a bit higher if this is too much. This is then your last warm up exercise again, standing tall. Feet are hip width apart and relax your shoulders. Start by bending your knees, shifting your hips backwards. Your arms go slightly forward and then stand back up. Circle your arms overhead, come into a side stretch. Then step back and fold into easy squat. Exhale, lowering down into squat and then inhale, coming back up and side bending. Make sure to keep your shoulders relaxed, standing tall and lengthening the entire side body when you stretch. If you want to, you can push the opposite hand into your hip and this can help to bend a little bit further into that side stretch. Of course, you can also squat deeper if you want to and this will warm up your thighs and glutes a little bit more. This warm up is designed to help you connect with your body, to enjoy the movement and to connect movement and breathing. Well done. Now here is round one of two. We're starting with mountain climbers. Come into plank position, feet closed. Now hands are shoulder width apart. Push the base of your index finger down into the ground. Keep your shoulder blades away from your ears and pull them towards the spine. Now press into your heels all the way down from your sacrum. Shift your core up and forward and run on the spot, alternating pulling your knee forward. Rebounds quickly from your feet. Keep breathing steadily and do not brace too much as not to compress your lungs. You need oxygen. Support your lower back by pulling your navel up and forward and create stability by lengthening between your heels and the crown of your head. Work your core muscles to support your back. Well done. Now quickly relax your wrists, come into sitting, sit back on your heels. Next one up is plank alternating leg lifts. Come back into your plank position. Hands are shoulder width apart, pressing into the base of your index finger. Close your feet first. Pull up and forward from your navel. Keep your hips square and parallel to the floor. Then lift one leg up, point and lengthen. Lower back down, control and alternate. 
Exhale, lift, pulling your navel in and lengthening your spine. Then inhale and lower back down. Keep your legs straight and your hips parallel to the floor. Your spine wants to be in a neutral position from your tailbone all the way up to the crown of your head. So no curling here. If this is too much for your wrist, you can lower down on your elbows into things pose. This is pressing your palms into the ground and your forearms are parallel. Do the option that still challenges you. Here's your recovery for your wrists. Lie on your back, dead bugs, alternating leg and arm pulls. Lie on your back, knees bent 90 degrees, arms are straight, hands above your shoulders and knees above your hips. Now keep a neutral spine without pressing your lower back down into your mat. Lengthen one arm behind your head, pushing the opposite leg away. Leg and arms are not touching the floor. Come back up into starting position. Exhale, lower leg and arm. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, pull your navel in and lengthen the spine. Inhale, fill your lungs. Challenge yourself by keeping both legs straight. Well done. Last one in. Now come onto your left side. We're coming into side plank, plank knee to elbow crunch. Now come into your left side plank, putting your left elbow down, stacking your feet one on top of the other. Stay on the outer edge of your left foot. Your hips are pushing up straight into a long line. Hips and shoulders stay square, no folding forward or falling backwards. Lift the top leg and stretch the top arm out overhead. Then side crunch, bring elbow and knee together. Exhale, crunch, inhale, stretch out. For a challenge, exhale in pulse, knee and elbow towards each other two or three times, then inhale, stretch. Very good. Then change over to the other side. We're having a little bit of a rest here. And here we go for the other side. Side plank, knee to elbow crunch. Come onto elbow and outer edge of your right foot. Push your elbow into the ground. Keep the shoulder away from your ear. The lower leg might be tired, but make sure not to sag from your hips. Stay in that straight, beautiful long line. Now for a challenge, exhale and pulse knee and elbow towards each other two, three times, and then inhale and stretch. Beautiful. Stay up, up, up. Just a few more. And well done. Now lie on your back. Your wrists and shoulders can relax. Pilates press ups for 45 seconds. Lying on your back. Legs are straight. Feet are above your hips. Keep your spine neutral, lumbers and cervicals do not press into the ground. Press with the back of your arms and your palms into your mat. Lift your hips all the way up. Feet are pointing upwards, pointed if you want, and then lower down slowly, resisting with your lower abdominals and your arm pressing into the ground. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, slowly lowering down. Inhale, coming up, exhale, slowly lowering down, pressing with the arms back into the ground. Good job. Last drill of this first round, push up to T-stand for 60 seconds, either on your feet or on your knees. Start in your plank, having your hands slightly wider than your shoulders. Your fingers are pointing 45 degrees towards each other. Elbows are pointing out. Now push back into your heels all the way from your sacrum and lift through the core up and forward. 
Stay in a beautiful long plank. Now bend your elbows, lowering your chest. Push up all the way and pushing back up. Then come into T-stand. Roll your feet onto the side. Come into side plank, reaching your arm up. Come back into push up and change sides. Exhale in your push up. This helps you firm your core. Protect your shoulders by pressing them away from your ears at all times. Do one more, pressing down, exhaling, inhaling, T-stand. And that's it for round one. We're halfway through, having a little bit of an active recovery here for 60 seconds. Come back into that squat and side bend from the beginning. Give your body the oxygen it needs by trying to lower your breathing rhythm and reconnecting the flow of the movement and the flow of your breath. We're having a second round and you can decide if you're doing the same option or change the intensity. In plank, you can come down onto swings, pose on your elbows. In side plank, you can lower one knee down. And in your push-up, of course, you can also come onto your knees. You can adapt the exercises for round two to keep it challenging, but please pull through the whole 45 or 60 seconds of this workout. All right, I guess you're super excited now. So let's go. Second round, better than the first, starting with mountain climbers for 45 seconds. Mind your posture, everything you've learned in round one, we're now applying in round two. Get strength into your hand and shoulders by pressing the base of your index finger into the ground. Make sure your shoulder blades pull away from your ears and towards the spine. Now keep a long neck and focus a spot slightly in front of your hands. Support your back, pulling your navel in and up, navel up and forward. Now pull through, keep breathing, run, step, or just stay in a plank as you need it. Well done. Sit down for a second, hips onto heels, release your wrists. And there we go. Come back into plank, alternating leg, leg lifts. Your option is to come down onto your elbows into Sphinx pose with forearms parallel and palms pressing into the ground. Now pull your neck out of your chest, shoulder blades towards the spine. Imagine your little turtle stretching your head out of your shield, making a really long neck. And now firm the abdominals, pulling your navel in and up. Use that exhale to really brace your core. Do not curl, do not round your back. Check your hips. Stay square and have your hips parallel to the ground. Keep breathing, exhale up, inhale, lower down. Exhale up, inhale, lower down. Well done, good job. All right, we're coming back onto our backs. Alternating dead box. If you do need to make this easier for you, then don't lower arms and legs all the way. But if you want to, you can make it more difficult. But straight legs all the way. This is a lot harder on your core. Then your feet start above your hips in starting position and you're simply lowering one leg at a time. Keep your spine in neutral position. Don't press the lumbars down. Exhale, extend. Inhale, come back up, exhale, extend, inhale, come back up. Go steady and control the movement. And it's side plank time. Come onto your elbow and the outer edge of your left foot. 
come up into your side plank. If you need an option, you can now bend your lower leg, putting the knee down. The upper leg can also touch the ground in the extension. This will make it easier. If you want more of a challenge, you can pulse two, three times in your crunch, in your exhale, and then inhale, stretch out again. Check back into your shoulder, pressing your elbow down. Don't collapse and pull your shoulder away from the ear. Lift that hip as high as you can. Great, well done. Now change slowly onto the other side. We're having a little bit of a recovery here. And then come into plank on your right side, plank and side crunch. Now maintain the same option as you did on the other side, either knee down or on your feet. Now check into your hips and lift them as high as you can. Keep a nice straight long line. Stack hips and shoulders in line with each other. Do not fall nor lean backwards. That's a bad idea. You might fall. And if you want more of a challenge, pulse two, three times in your crunch. Remember to exhale and to make it easier. Of course, you can bend your lower leg, putting the knee down. I sometimes have trouble with that second side because Obviously that lower leg already worked and I then simply bent my lower leg, but keep going. Well done. Come into press up Pilates, starting with lying on your back and your feet above your hips. Press your arms, back of your shoulders and palms into the ground. This will be working your upper back. And of course we will work in the lower abdominals. Point your feet. Have your feet above your hips and now press your legs up. Then control lowering down. Keep the back of your arms and shoulders pressing into the floor. Don't throw your legs too far overhead. This would increase the pressure on your cervicals, on your neck. Now inhale, press up and exhale, lowering down. Inhale up, exhale, lowering down. Last one. Almost there, last exercise, push-ups to T-stands. I'm totally fine if you're doing these push-ups on your knees. So there are two options if you need to do this easier. You can either have your push-up on your knees, then come back up into plank and pivot into T-stand, or even easier, you can keep your knees bent and then pivot on your knees into T-stand, knees down. But challenge yourself as much as possible. Pull through the whole 60 seconds, whatever level you need. This is the last exercise of your core workout. So maintain posture, pull your navel in and up. And in that plank, have a nice long line. Finish that nice and strong. Keep breathing. Make sure that you're exhaling in that push-up and that's a nice big inhale in that T-stand. Come on, last one. You're all set. <laughs> We're finishing up with some stretching. No squatting this time. Simple side bends. We wanted to release the abdominals. So you're standing tall. And then simply cross back with one leg. Circle your arm up and bend to that same side. We're doing a C shape here. And come back into standing parallel and exhale. Then inhale, cross back, circle up, exhale, side bend. Inhale, come back to standing, exhale, lower the arm down. Inhale, exhale, side bend. And try to do these really steady. Remember to reconnect the flow of your breath and the flow of your movement. Slow down. And this is the moment to be really proud of yourself. Lots of plank positions to strengthen the core, toning the abdominals to support our spine. 
So all throughout the day, we can stay long and strong. And I've been sneaking in some shoulder workout. So to stretch those shoulders and also your wrist, the last stretch is a chest and wrist release to counteract all these planks that I've been sneaking in. So stand tall, interlace your fingers behind your back, turn the palms up, lift and exhale, keep your chest up, inhale, lower back down, lift your chest, lengthen your neck and point the crown of your head towards the sky and then exhale. Exhaling reduces the tone of your muscles to allow you to stretch. Feel your feet on the ground and feel supported. Now working out really teaches us day by day how we're doing, how we're coping with stress. It's like checking in how we're doing and one day might be totally different than the next. Last one. And you're all set. This last one is totally optional. I like down dogs for stretching the shoulders and opening the chest, especially after a long day of work. So if you had enough for your wrist, then simply come into a forward fold, release your head and your shoulders and have an easy stretch. Or just use these last few moments to do whatever you need, whatever your body needs, even if it's drinking a glass of water. Now, thank you everyone for working out today and I'll see you soon. Have a toned day, everyone.